is it actually possible that gut bacteria may be related in some way to autism? And even more incredibly, that simply by reintroducing one gut bacteria into an individual's diet, let's say per se with water, you can reverse a lot of the social, I should say, challenges in regard to autism itself. Now, before I begin, let me just state one thing. This is an animal study, and it needs to be eventually been done in humans in order to validate the information done in this particular animal study. Second, Baylor College of Medicine has done a wonderful video explaining it in more in detail. However, all I'm here to do is to humbly bring attention to this wonderful, wonderful, promising research. Let us begin. Public citation title, a, CC, a, CC, a single species of gut bacteria can reverse autism-related social behavior in mice. Citation title, microbial reconstitution reverses maternal diet-induced social and synaptic de deficits in offspring. Now to quote the research. The inspiration for the paper came from human epidemiological studies that have found that maternal obesity during pregnancy could increase children's risk of developing neurodevelopment disorders. Before I go more into that, it's not just the obesity. They also found out that hygiene or being ultra hygienic somehow can also relate to the exact same disorder. From developing neurodevelopment disorders, including ASDs, in addition, some individuals with autism spectrum disorder also report a recurring gastrointestinal problem. With emerging research showing how diet can change the gut microbiome and how gut microbes can influence the brain, researchers want to investigate the connection. Now keep in mind, when they're talking, when they gave the animals a high fat diet, I want to specify right in the beginning, I'm going to put the diet uh, basically reference in there, but the diet fat they were using was lard. Maybe reason I want to bring that out ahead of time is because I don't want that to be uh, accidentally correlated with DHA or other omega-3s, which actually could be a beneficial. But to proceed, the investigators next want to know the specific bacterial species that could be affecting the social behavior of the mice. Whole genome shotgun sequencing revealed one type of bacteria, Lactobacillus ruteri, which was reduced more than ninefold in the microbiome of mice born to mothers on the high fat diet. High fat diet being lard diet. We cultured a strain of Lactobacillus ruteri originally isolated from, isolated from human breast milk. Hmm, interesting and introduced it into water. So basically, this was just introduced into their diet, so they orally took it, uh, of the high-fat diet offspring. We found that treatment with a single bacterial strain was able to rescue their social behavior. That is amazing. Now, wait to see what Lactobillus ruteri does next and how, how they hypothesize it actually added or brought to light this benefit. Interestingly, the authors found that L. ruteri also promoted the reduction of the bonding hormone oxytocin, which is known to play a crucial role in social behavior and has been associated with autism in humans, as well as a ton of other issues in regard to um, uh, mental uh, challenges. We found that in response to social interaction, there was a lack of synaptic potentiation in a key reward area of the brain that can be seen in the normal controlled mice. When we put the bacteria back into the maternal high fat diet, fat being lard, offspring, we also restore the changes in synaptic function of the reward circuitry. It is just amazing. Now keep in mind the researchers don't know how the lactobacillus ruteri actually helps elevate the oxytocin levels directly as of yet, but still there's a connection. They're just going to find out the exact connection. Also, the second thing, too, I would love to see this in combination uh, regarding this lactobillus rosuteri with what John Hopkins did in regard to finding chemicals from broccoli sprouts that also help treat autism, which I'll put the um, citation title to that. Now, before I leave, the researchers did this best, and I want to encourage you to go to the Baylor College of Medicine's uh, website and actually look at the video yourself and look into the research yourself, at least, if anything, to validate what I'm saying. But I want to leave you with the quote from the research itself, because this video is just a joy to watch. Again, this is Ralph Turciano signing off, and I really, really, really hope this brings you some help. Keep in mind, this is an animal study, it needs to be done in humans, but in any case, I really hope this brings you some hope, or if not, some help. Again, Ralph Turciano signing off, and I'll catch you all next week. Thank you. Changes in synaptic strength in the brain.
and changes in synaptic strains which are associated with this lack of social behavior. In conclusion, maternal hepatitis offspring show uh, behavioral deficits and also uh, a significant change in the gut microbiome. And maternal hepatitis eliminate or would significantly reduce any specific bacteria, lactobacillus ruteri, which is crucial for social behavior. And more importantly, uh, these bacteria, we believe that could uh, potentially be used uh, as a new probiotic for the treatment of behavioral symptoms which are associated with autism spectrum disorder. And boom, boom, boom.